What's going on guys? We're coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we're doing a special draft. We're drafting the highest contact players in the rounds that I'm going to be drafting hitters in. It is a contact draft. Going for 120 or more likes in this video since we're going for 12-0 with this team. Comment down below other themed or special drafts you guys want to see and subscribe if y'all are new. Let's just go ahead, hop right into the draft, man. And we're not doing highest contact in every single round, okay? So there's three diamond rounds and three gold rounds. That's six rounds for position players. Those rounds, I'm doing contact in those. I'm not going to be drafting gold or diamond starting pitchers, okay? We're not doing that. We are only doing those rounds, hopefully, if everything works out for contact hitters. Yo, Tony Gwynn, 125, 125 is contact. Yeah, I think we found who we're taking in this first round easily. Easily the highest contact in that round, man. Oh my goodness, 99 Tony Gwynn. I'm glad we got that card. I'm excited to try him out. Uh, bronze round. This is one of the rounds where we are going with a reliever. Now, if there's no reliever in the round, maybe we'll go starting pitcher. We'll just see what happens. Diamond round. Here we go, our second diamond round. So, Alan Trammell. Dang, man, I was kind of hoping it was going to be Jason Giambi. But Alan Trammell, he's the highest contact in that round. Yo, let's go, man. Both of our contact hitters have above 99 contact for our first two diamond rounds. That's huge. Oh, and he's a good fielder, too. I like that. I like that a lot, man. That's a great card. That's cool. Uh, Luke Voigt is, is honestly who I want in this round, but we're going the starting pitcher. We got to do starting pitcher there. Uh, silver round. Okay, so this is going to be highest contact. And it looks like, yeah, Francisco Cervelli, highest contact there. Apparently, people were telling me he's apparently kind of a glitch at catcher this year. Uh, not necessarily in terms of feeling, but people were telling me he's like a good hitter this year. So I think what I heard. Uh, Cody Allen or Javier Bai. That's not, dude, I keep thinking it's, it's Javi. I see the face mask and I remember seeing Javi wear one of those. I keep thinking that's Javi when I see that card. Uh, it's Albert Almora. So 74, 86, or would I choose Cody Allen? Cody Allen's not really a reliever I would choose. So we're going to go Albert Almora there. 74, 86 for the contact. Uh, Silver Round, Goldie, or, ooh. So 90 to, that's like 156. And then that is one. Okay, he easily has more. Oh, dude, 92. Okay, 92 versus what am I thinking? Uh, Reyes Maranta, he has. I think I would choose Reyes in this round. That's a really good silver reliever. So we're going to just choose Reyes here and, and use an, a different silver round, hopefully, on a uh, on a contact hitter. Miguel Andahar or Michael Brantley. It'd be Michael Brantley in this one if we were to choose him. Uh, is it, wait, is it Ryan Stanek? Yeah, Ryan Stanek, splitter, slider. That's not a bad card either. This is where it's tough for me because it's 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 like, oh wait no okay no I can't get any more silvers. Oh shoot I need a reliever here. I have four spots left and I have one gold one or one diamond three gold left. That's four. So I honestly I, I kind of need to choose the reliever here if I want this to hopefully go how I want it to. Uh, then we can get a third righty. We really don't need another another silver righty though. Common starting pitcher. Give me two common rounds in a row. All right, not a big deal. Uh, I'm honestly going to go with the starting pitcher here, lefty starting pitcher. And please give me a lefty. Oh, man, shoot. Okay. I really, so here's what, here's the thing. I really don't want the golden diamond rounds, okay? I really do not want those rounds to be used on anything besides the position players. But I feel like it almost would be stupid to go Wade Davis here. We're going to do it, though, man. We're going to, we're going to do it because I really don't want to mess this up. All right, so here we go. Yo. Wait, wait, wait. 95 plus 80. Okay, that is 175. JD Martinez, 102 and 88. That's 190. Yo, JD Martinez is a better contact hitter than Joey Votto. Okay, and he's up with inside edge. Oh, oh Joey Votto is too, but wow. Bro, this is a... Yo, my three diamonds are insane. 99 Tony Gwynn, JD Martinez, and Alan Trammell. That's awesome. I will 100% take that. Now we got a gold round. Here we go. Uh, Orlando Cepeda, 95 plus 75 is going to be 170. And then 96 plus 86 is going to be 184 or higher. So uh, Josh Harrison is going to be my guy in that round. I'm just kind of adding the two contacts together. Together? Together. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we got a starting pitcher there. And a gold round. Okay. So 79, 84, 88. Oh, my gosh. Math, dude. I hate math. Uh, that's 94, 154, uh, 6, 10, 163. 
I feel like this is easy. I feel like this is higher. Oh, the, the, yo, this has to be high, bro. That's that. That is once I look at it again, that's simple. That's easily higher. Uh, I still don't have lefties in the bullpen, man. Not good, not good. But the thing is, I don't want to draft this and have a gold round. And, that, and that's the risk we run. And that's the risk that comes with these. We can get Robert Stocky, throw some gas. And Joaquin Benoit, he'll be fine under the pen. All right, so now it's time to draft. I guess we could go high as contact. I could also just go bench, guys. This is a contact draft, though. It is. Uh, and it looks like Brandon Belt highest contact in that round by quite a bit. Not quite a bit, but he's clearly the front runner in my opinion. Uh, 58-52, that brings it to 110. His is going to be 73. 113. I think David Bodie has higher contact. Pretty sure. I don't think these matter a whole lot, okay? We're, we're going to do my best to see which one has better content, but I don't think these matter that much. Uh, Rod Carew, 111. Yeah, we're going Rod Carew there in that silver round. Uh, we're ending on the gold. That makes me happy. It makes me very happy to end on the gold round, too. Uh, so 77, 60, that's one, uh, 137, right? Yeah, none of these are higher. So we'll get Kevin Smith. All right, gold round. This is the round we're ending on. I really, really want a... Hmm. What do I want, man? I think I think maybe first base is kind of what I'm hoping for. So that is uh, 151. 170. 174. And then I think 160. Let me just add 79. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, because 81, 80 plus 80 is 160. So 160, 94 plus 80, that is uh, 174, right? So Daniel Murphy had the highest contact in, uh, in that final round. And uh, he plays first base so we could he's down with inside edge though so we could put we, we could put him in for brandon belt i feel like that could be a smart move brandon belt does have a good feeling uh i'm gonna go ahead and make the lineup though with that being said before we get into this first game try to start off one and no this is a really good team man 99 tony Gwynn, jd martinez alan trammell scope cervelli uh ooh, well i don't know if i like cervelli at, at catcher though uh daniel daniel murphy one like th th this is just such a good team man this is a really good team the only thing i'm concerned about is the bullpen a little bit scared of the bullpen, only having one lefty in there. Uh, we do have quite a few good righties, but only having one lefty in there has me a little bit scared. So we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping this is a good team. Let's try to start off 1-0 with that 88 contact rating, man. That's insane. We're playing the Atlanta Braves. Ooh, I'm excited to see this guy's uniforms. Our opponent has 99 Rogers Hornsby. That card's insane, man. Andrelton Simmons, 93 Torrey, 84 George Brett, Wilmer Flores, Kyle Schwarber, Kike Hernandez, 83 Jason Hayward, Birch Smith on the mound. Good for us. We got Tony Gwynn leading us off. This is the lineup that we are rocking with. Miguel Almonte on the mound. Away team looking to start off 1-0 with this team. All right, guys. We are here with 99 Tony Gwynn's. First at bat for me here in MLB The Show 19. Starting off 1-0, already in the hitter's count. And uh, I'm excited to use this card. I'm excited to use contact because contact hitters are a lot more usable here in MLB 19. And I think this team could do really well. Obviously, though, if you guys have been watching the videos, I've been struggling a little bit with my pitching. So, oh, no. Dang it, man. We made good contact. Right? We had to make good. Like, we hit that one hard. It was a line on. We made good contact. I, I assume we were a little bit late on it, right? No, good squared up. Okay. Never mind. We yo, that, yeah, we just hit it right to his fielder. JD Martinez, this card's insane. Oh my goodness, line drive home run. It's out of here in a hurry. Wow. Yo, people weren't weren't lying when y'all said that uh live series JD Martinez is one of the best hitters in the game. Oh my goodness, he destroyed that. Oh, Daniel Murphy with the base hit now. I'm feeling good. I mean, we're three batters in. I'm feeling good with the team. We're three batters in though, but I'm feeling good with the team so far. Alan Trammell up to bat. One of my diamonds, and he makes good. Oh, we're, we're sending the runner. That's over his head. Yo, I'm liking this team so far, man. Like I said, though, it's only the uh, the first inning, only the first four batters, but I'm digging it, man. We're having a good time. Let's go. Our opponent has quit, man. Let's go. We're going to get another one in this video, man. Uh, with my drafts recently, I've only been doing one game, but no, 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 no. We got to get at least one more in this video. Try to go 2-0 with this team. I seriously think if I can just not 
absolutely suck at pitching. This is a 12-0 team. I'm very sorry for not having the camera on in that first game. We're playing the Tampa Bay Nuts. Our opponent has 99 Tony Gwynn. How did he... Okay, we got JD Martinez. I can't complain. But how does he have Mike Trout, man? Uh, 87 Cliff Floyd, DJ LeMahieu, Logan Morrison, 78 version, 78 Gordon Beckham, yes, Monty, Eduardo, Curry May on the mound. We got Scott Barlow on the mound. Home team this time. Looking for win number two. Daniel Murphy, there we go. So Tony Gwynn, line drive out. JD Martinez, line drive out. Both of them, I'm pretty sure, were good squared up. I know JD's was. I wasn't paying 100% attention to uh, Tony Gwynn's. I just know it was hit hard, and it was a liner to the outfield. Um, Daniel Murphy doing the same thing, except he's not getting out. He's lining this one, and we have Alan Trammell coming up, trying to keep his average at 1,000. Dang, man. Shouldn't have swung at that. I was a little bit late. Didn't react well to it, but it's only one inning. Still 0-0. We're looking to stay undefeated with this team. I think we should be able to do it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Please don't be a triple. Anything but a triple. Yo, no. Oh, I, I, I loaded the throw already, so I thought we were going to have it. Oh, I wanted to throw a second. Dang it. Oh, well. At least it's only a double. That was scary. I chose this stadium because I'm using contact hitters. So I'm sitting here like, oh, yeah. I can get doubles and everything. I'll, I'll use these contact hitters and just just run all over my opponent. And now he's, uh, he's kind of doing the same thing on me. It's backfiring a little bit. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody down. I've thrown two pitches down the middle of this inning. One of them resulted in that base hit, and that other one resulted in almost a hit, but our infielder making a pretty solid play. And I'm going to bring in one of my good righties. No, up the middle, man. Shoot, two strike count, too. I wanted to get it like low below, below the zone where he wouldn't be able to uh, do anything with it, and I think I just hung it up a little bit too much. Yeah. Just didn't get it as low as uh, uh, as I wanted it, man. And we're losing one nothing. Eduardo Nunez going it up the middle. We might have him a second. Probably not, though. Yeah, man. Oh, Lord. I hate that I don't hit my spots consistently pitching. Like, some games I do fine. Other games, it's like this where I'm just I'm not hitting him. Hopefully, we don't allow any more runs. I think if, if we keep it a one nothing deficit. Oh, man. JD Martinez should have a decent arm to get him, right? Yeah, we should get him. I think we got him. Yeah, there we go, JD. Nice, awesome. That's huge. That's actually huge. Oh, thank you, JD. Uh, I think if we keep it at a one-run game, I should be able to win. I think with this team, I can get a run before the game's over. I just can't allow anymore, man. I gotta, I gotta work on my pitching. Still, gonna be a consistent thing until I, until I get it done. But I gotta work on my pitching for sure, and just make sure it's, it's super consistent and like consistently good. Okay. Jonathan Sko with. Oh no! Don't tell me that's an out. Wow, what a play, man. We hit it down the line, too. Shoot. Two great plays in a row. Shoot, man. Cliff Floyd with the base hit. Two down, top of inning number three. I really hope I keep it a one-run game still. That's kind of what we're shooting for while pitching. And hitting? Oh, no. Oh, man, that could have been bad. Hitting-wise... I got to get more hits. We have one hit this game. We have a contact team. We got to get base hits. And if we do that, we should be able to tie the game. But it's going to be tough, man. I hate going into that bottom of the third losing. So we're going to see what we can do. Tony Gwynn. No. I was thinking about diving, but, man, I, I just I didn't want to run to score. Oh, well, not a big deal. Two straight base hits. We'll try to get out of it. Tony Gwynn, that's ending the game, man. Shoot, dude. I was I was literally looking inside, and I still got jammed. I was looking inside, still got jammed. Kind of sad about that. We're, dude, I keep drafting teams and then start like losing early on, and I don't like it because it makes me not want to play the rest of the game with the team. So we'll see if I end up redrafting. I kind of want to just because we're one and one. It's like if I'm gonna like if I'm gonna go ahead and win 11 games in a row to get 12, I might as well draft a new team and try and be going 12 and 0. You know, uh, it's different if I'm losing at like four or five, six wins or something, but losing at zero or one, two wins, you know, it's just like. It almost seems pointless to me. If you guys, like, care one way or the other, redraft or continue, let me know down in the comment section. And I can keep that in mind for future instances where this happens. Or maybe if, like, redraft unless you get, like, four wins. Five, like, if you have, like, a limit before where I should be redrafting. Something like that. Just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, second channel. All that is down in the description. Pretty solid team. I'm really sorry that we lost the game. I couldn't hit that game. And then, obviously, I suck at pitching. 
And uh, we hung a pitch. It resulted in a run. So I'm sorry about that. I'll see you next time, though. Thank you so much for watching. As always, have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.